Diego, many people are feeling a spectrum of emotions when it comes to the new year here and joining us with some reminders on how to stay positive during this time is Dr. of Psychology, Cynthia Burke. Good morning, Dr. Burke. Good morning, thank you for having me. So talk a little bit behind, you know, people are just feeling a little anxious, a little stressed out here as we begin 2021. What are some of your tips for them as we head into this year? So I have um, three tips and we mentioned the uh, presidential inauguration coming up this month. And I've been looking at some presidential quotes that I think kind of highlight um, some things that we could all um, remember. The first is to look forward, not backwards. And if we really want to have a new year, we need to make it new. And Abraham Lincoln had, Lincoln had two great quotes. One was, I may walk slowly, but I don't walk backwards. And another one was that the best way to predict the future is to create it. And so I think we all have things in our past that may hold us back. And I heard another great quote that was, if we're not making the choices that we know are in our best interest, it might be the past that's making those. So we definitely need to look at what do we wish we could have changed in the past, but we can't change the past. So starting where we are now, we don't wanna shame ourselves. But we do want to say what lessons do we want to bring forth and new opportunities that we may have. And another great way to look at it is that when we're driving, the windshield's a lot bigger than the rear, rear view mirror. So how do we keep looking forward and moving forward that way? Yeah, those are some really great ways to, to look forward and, and take from some, some of our great presidents, including Lincoln there. And, and another one is, uh, that you've been talking about is sometimes just jumping in, just moving forward. It kind of sticks with that theme of not looking backwards, but really just, just doing it, right? Yeah, there's, um, I think there's a hero's journey and no one is ever 100% ready. If we wait till we're 100% ready, we're going to be waiting forever. Um, and so I think what's important, there was a great quote actually from Theodore Roosevelt, which if we want something that we've never had, we need to do something we've never done. And so I think first it's important to commit to what you want to do. I've had some friends say to me that they want to run a 5K, so they're going to start practicing and then once they're ready, they'll they'll sign up for that 5K. Don't wait, sign up for the 5K right now because then you have something to motivate you to keep going. The second piece is daily rituals. If you look too far out ahead, it can get overwhelming. So how do we have daily check-ins with ourselves and have integrity to what we've said to ourselves? One of the four agreements um, is that you wanna have integrity with your word and that's not only to others, it's to ourselves. And then I think the third piece that's important is meet the moment we're gonna fall off the horse, but how do you get back up on the horse? And if you have a bad day, you don't need to give up on that resolution or that intention forever. Every day is a new opportunity, but every hour is a new opportunity. That's a good way to put it. it, it you know, you don't have to think big picture. You can think just hour by hour. And also, you know, hard times, that's what provides growth. That's what builds character. Um, and that's something that you can keep focused on here in 2021. Yes, we, um, I think it's important as we were talking about looking forward, but also not looking too far forward. Um, last presidential quote, uh, Dwight Eisenhower said that planning is everything, but plans are nothing. And I think the only thing that we can be 100% sure of with 2021 is that the unexpected will happen. Sometimes the unexpected might be better than we even um, planned for in the first place. And how do we be flexible and open, ready to, to fulfill where we wanna go, but then also take those opportunities when they present themselves. Dr. Burke, you have me feeling so positive, so uplifted this morning. And I think that that is something to be valued here to start out the new year. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me again. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Coming